Hey everybody, it's been a bit of a while. So yeah, I've been busy with college and stuff. I mean, last semester uh, I went on a study abroad for the summer. Uh, I wanted to uh, do sort of a spotlight on a very infamous laptop because, you know, I, I've done mostly old stuff on my channel and this time it's kind of unique because um, because I, you know, I'm in college and I've also been traveling a little bit. I needed something really light um, and also sort of capable, but I didn't want to just get like a normal kind of laptop. I didn't want to get like a, a, a normal like X1 Carbon or something or a MacBook or some shit. Um, and I was really attracted to this, the infamous X1 Fold, because I don't know, I just, I like gimmicks, even if uh, they aren't really fleshed out. Lenovo probably threw in the towel with this fucking thing and realized that nobody bought into the gimmick and so they liquidated these for like $800 and I was like mm, maybe I should get one just for fun and I've actually it's probably the most used laptop I've had the past you know a couple years um, I've been using this both last semesters and when I went to Japan um, as like my main sort of typing essays kind of laptop um, which is weird because it's kind of in a way, one of the worst laptops I own. I mean, the number one stupid thing about this thing, um, if you could even call it a laptop, I mean, obviously, some people call it a tablet when I show them and they think it's like a Microsoft Surface or something, but honestly, I feel like it's, you know, pretty much capable as a laptop. Um, but one of the stupidest things is the keyboard. Um, the keyboard is fine itself, but um, it does. it's not included with, it's not included with the X1 Fold itself. Uh, it, the MSRP is an extra $250 for this fucking keyboard and all it is is a really simple like magnetic clip-on Bluetooth keyboard it doesn't even have a track point or anything which is what a lot of people complained about um, and it's a bit cramped but I mean I got used to that I don't I, I don't really care it, it is kind of weird because a lot of essential things are on the function key which I don't know why they had to do that because other laptops have been able to have like full layouts while keeping it kind of cramped but yeah, even at liquidation price, this keyboard, which in my opinion is essential for the function of this thing, but is not included, was an extra $100. Uh, MSRP $250. So like, what, what the hell's the deal with that? Um, and also it's compatible with pens, which are not included. This, I just took off another thing that I had, uh, an X12 detachable. So this is what came with the pen, or the pen came with this. This is the X12 detachable. Now this is like a competitor to the Microsoft Surface. I mean, so first, the size of it. So when I'm walking around campus or when I was traveling or something, I didn't want like a four or five pound giant laptop in my bag. I mean, here's my, the 14 inch gamer laptop. And you know, there's the the surface area right there. Um, I mean, and it's pretty much, you know, it's a little bit thicker, but not by much. And keep in mind, this is like a pound and a half less than that laptop. So, and I don't have to carry around a huge fucking uh, you know, pound and a half charging brick with that, like with that gamer laptop. This is just charges from USB-C and the Lenovo adapter is like really late. So, so another thing is, you know, obviously the folding screen, that's, that's the main gimmick. So like, what do you get from that? So, I mean, basically I, I, if you, you know, watched like my Fujitsu, what was it? The P1630. Um, I really love that size of kind of laptop. Um, and this is kind of just like that. It's almost exactly the same size um, when you use it in like this netbook form factor. But also, you know, say I'm like scrunching down and I'm like, I can't fucking see the screen. Well, then I could just, bam, I have a 13 inch four by three ratio. Also, I was about to fucking break it. <laughs> it was upside down. I almost pulled the back off of it. But like, look at that. I mean, that's great. And I know you can see that crease in there, but once you're just using it, it doesn't really fucking matter. By the virtue of it being OLED, like, or by the virtue of it being folding, it has to be an OLED screen, and um, it looks really nice. The colors are great, and the, and the darks are super dark, uh, and the colors are vibrant. So yeah, um, we're kind of waiting for this to boot up, and I guess that's a good time to talk about the specs of it. So, um, it's really garbage. Did this fucking start up? <laughs> what, what's going on? <laughs> well, um, what? Okay, it's 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 on. Button.
Yeah, like you see the light right here. I know this fucking iPhone camera won't focus for shit, but... I mean... <laughs> what the fuck? What's going on? Just start up. Okay, let's just hold this and <laughs> force it to go off. So it's it's really actually frustrating because this is going to start up. <laughs> anyway, it's really frustrating because uh, one, it's a portable, it's like an extremely small and portable device. So you want to take it with you. And, you know, if I'm going between classes, I open it, use it for 30 minutes, close it, go to another class. Um, and for some reason, it can't fucking wake up from sleep or hibernation. Um, and I got to restart it. And then... The processor is so fucking slow that it takes ages to restart. Okay, what the fuck is going on? Like... Okay, let's hit the button. It, le it lights up. I had to hit it twice for some reason. It blinked and then I hit it again. <sighs> anyway, I'm wearing these workout gloves because it makes me look hard as fuck and also, my skin's extremely dry, so, like, the back of my hands are actually, like, crack crackling and, like, bleeding and shit. So, um, I thought that would be kind of disgusting for a video, but whatever. We're a couple minutes in, and I haven't even gotten the fucking thing started up yet. So, that's a, a big issue with this right now. <laughs> but when it works, it, it works great, because it's just a... And then, like, look, it doesn't auto-rotate. You may be wondering why I'm running Windows, um, and it's because... Linux doesn't really fucking work at all on this goddamn thing. All right, so we got five cores here. Um, they're incredibly slow cores. Like, uh, I think by pure like benchmark numbers, this processor, the i5 L16 G7, which, you know, it's a classic name, um, does about as well as like a dual core Haswell processor, which, um, I mean, it is much, it is only seven watts, so it uses a lot less power. You know, I get more battery life out of that shit. Um, when reviews came out, they said the battery life was pretty bad, but you know, I can get through an entire day of school uh, with like three or four classes, so you know, it's fine. Whatever, eight gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> and um, I don't think there was any option for, yeah, there was no other option or else I would have fucking gotten it. If I had, could get 16 gigs of RAM in this, that would be amazing. Uh, but uh, eight gigabytes of RAM and you're forced to use Windows because Linux doesn't fucking work on this thing. Um, that makes me want to die sometimes. <laughs> the fucking processor is so slow. The, the, the RAM is like choking up because Windows uh, uses so much fucking RAM, uh, as well as modern browsers uses so much fucking RAM. 2048 by 1536, which is double XGA, uh, which is 1024 by 768. So it's really crispy, especially because this is, I think, 13 inches. It's so crispy. It's so nice to look at and like, play, you know, retro games and watch old stuff, especially if the game's made for, like, a 4.3 resolution. 3 yeah. So, another issue. So, you see me plugging that in? When I'm in this orientation, that's the only USB port on this fucking computer. What if you want to charge and you have some other oh, network? Oh, yeah, because I have my Ethernet hooked up to it. So, you know... Uh, you're gonna have to get one of these dongles with uh, USB-C power delivery pass-through, or else you're not gonna be able to charge and then, you know, stick in your fucking USB drives or whatever the fuck. Alright. Alright, we're good. Alright, let's just... I'm just playing fucking heroes here. Um... Wait. Now, I'll give him one Wolf Rider. When you have a scout, you want to give him the fastest unit that you possibly have, because it just gives him that much more, like, um, what's it called? Like, distance he can walk. Um, I'm sure the, the two people that still play Heroes are probably, like, looking at me like, Oh my god, why aren't you fucking winning this map already? I might be screwed, because... Oh no, okay, these guys are pussies. My god. My friend who introduced me to Heroes 3 is probably gonna, if he were to ever see this, he'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? You're so garbage. Yeah, Heroes HD, a uh, really good fucking patch for this. So here's the five cores. Um, you'll notice that I'm guessing this one is the performance one because it's always it's like spiking much higher. Um, if you're doing like anything, like in a browser or something, this one's gonna be at 100% at nearly all times. It's, it's kind of crazy. 
Anyway, hardware wise, yeah, it's it's kind of really shitty. Um, <laughs> it's like using a dual core from like 12 years ago, which is kind of up my alley anyway. Um, I just wish I could put like Linux on it because I wouldn't be choking with the memory if I was just using Linux. Anyway, Lenovo is supposed to have some sort of software where it's like, um, if you if you fold it like this, like a book, it'll like pop up on the on the bottom and and allow you to select left and right, which is uh, which is neat, I guess. I should go over a couple more issues. Um, so if this goes into hibernate and um, it like you start it back up again, like, you know, like a sane person, like a normal person, it doesn't like properly initialize the graphics processor in this. And it causes like a black screen if you have the, uh, if you have the keyboard on it. So in order to fix it, you have to restart it by, you know, and obviously it, it'll be a black screen. So you'd have to take this off and then restart it from that. And you know, when I'm in a class and I have to like get out, you know, my assignment or some shit, um, that's the last thing I wanna do because it's, you know, I'm wasting like five minutes being like, oh, I'm sorry, I gotta fix my shitty computer. So, you know, that's kind of a pain. So whenever I am done using this, I actually just shut it off entirely instead of putting it into sleep mode. So yeah, let, let me see if I could like do that. If I could like trigger it to fuck itself up all right six show let's pause it say we're going to lunch or something uh let's let's put it in a hibernate usually i would just close it like a normal laptop it would go into sleep mode and then maybe 30 minutes later it would it would hibernate itself actually it's a perfect time for me to talk about several things the thinkpad x12 detachable so let me open this up it's you know it's a little beat up but i've been using it i use this just as much as as the the fold first keyboard's angled which is nice um it is uh for most parts a full size like thinkpad keyboard it's got a track point um it has a really really big uh touchpad which is nice because even though i do you know use track point you know like 75 percent of the time sometimes I'm, I'm using that too um it has a fingerprint reader which is nice it has windows hello too um or like it's compatible it's like you could do set that up in linux too um to have facial login um Whereas this one doesn't have a fingerprint reader. Um, this has a backlit keyboard, which actually I didn't mention because, um, you know, sometimes I'm in bed in the middle of the night and I can't see the fucking keyboard on this because it's not backlit. This has a backlit keyboard. This has, you know, like a, a, a proper quad core CPU uh, in it that's decently performant for the, for the time. It has twice the amount of RAM as this. This has 16 gigabytes of RAM. This has twice the amount of storage this has 512 megabytes of storage and you can upgrade to one terabyte. I mean, you could upgrade to one terabyte in this, but uh, you pay inflated, you know, both of these upgrading storage and RAM and stuff like that is paying inflated uh, laptop manufacturer costs. You had so much more computer for on this compared to this for MSRP, it was like half the price. And when I bought both of these, this was like $600. This was, uh, you know, for the keyboard, all in all, like $900, or $1,000. Um, I mean, and you get a fucking keyboard with it and you get the pen with, for the screen. So, I mean, the only downside of this thing, because it's like trying to be like a, a fucking tablet Microsoft Surfaces is you can't really use it on your lap because it's got this stupid fucking kickstand business. Honestly, why I actually stuck around with this more because this, you can make it a laptop when you want it and it can be a tablet when you want it. Anyway, um, all right, I just logged back in. Um, and it's completely fine. I had an entire script for this shit, but I didn't, I didn't even look at my fucking notes or my script or anything. Um, basically, this thing's garbage and you shouldn't buy it. And sure, the folding gimmick is kind of a gimmick, but I do enjoy having the flexibility of a really tiny laptop. And then when I, you know, 
have the extra space that I can afford, I just do that and I have a huge fucking screen. And even this isn't really that much, that much, you know, desk real estate. It's, it's still really kind of a small footprint. You can tell it chugs a lot. Uh, eight, gigs about, eight gigabytes of RAM is really fucking regrettable. Yeah, also I have no fucking storage on it, 256 gigs. And also the lack of IO, like you have, if you're in this orientation, you get one USB-C port and then um, just another USB-C port and that's it. And they're not even like Thunderbolts or anything, but I don't know, I don't have any Thunderbolt accessories because that shit's expensive. I'm sorry I have a video without a conclusion or a video where the conclusion is this thing sucks, but I love it. Just don't deal with this fucking garbage uh, like mode switcher thing that Lenovo ships with it. I don't know what the fuck the deal was. It didn't, it worked correctly when I bought it and now it just doesn't fucking work anymore. So whatever. Yeah, well, it's a glitchy, gimmicky, stupid mess. Nobody fucking liked. Is way too expensive for the hardware that's inside of it. But you know what? I really love it. No, just, it's so nice to have real fucking leather you know what's so great about real leather is that in 10 years, when I do this, it's not going to fall apart like polyurethane. I had a fucking e-reader case that was made out of polythurian, polythur, poly, po made out of the fucking pleather shit. And one day I took it out of my drawer and it just peeled off and flaked everywhere. And now that case is just useless. So, you know, this is going to stay forever. It's going to be really nice.